I have never heard anyone say, I love the large logo that's on the end of the Rode PSA OnePlus boom arm. That has never happened. Not only do I not love the large logo, but I hate that they put it on twice. It would have been much more acceptable if they did a small logo on the base of the unit, something like that, but this is just pure greed. Ever since we put our logo on top of theirs, we've been getting 5 to 10 comments on our channel every single day saying, how did you do that? What did you use? How much time did it take? And can you make a video explaining how you did it? So here we are. Now there are a couple things I want to cover off. First of all, the neoprene sleeve here is beneficial. It does absorb sound. It, inside of it, there's another layer of foam. So I don't really want to mess with what Rode has done here. I don't want to cut it off and make my own sleeve. Instead, our approach is to cover it up. That being said, there is a video by Tom Buck where he explains his process. This logo is screen printed on, so it's a total pain in the butt, but you can use an industrial solvent on it and scrub it. I think it took him four or five hours and two different tries to get it done really nicely. That sounds way too tedious to me, so our approach is much more simple than that. If you are looking for pricing or specs or links to that other video, we have everything down in the description below. Okay, so all you need for this is a roll of gaff tape. We use three inch black gaff tape and a vinyl decal with your logo on it. That's it. The three inch gaff tape is available at most AV shops or photo shops. It's used a lot in the film industry. The benefits of using gaff tape are that it's black. It's generally non-reflective. You can see that you can see a little bit of reflection from the gaff tape, but it is opaque. You can't see through it and it does not leave a residue. Next, we have a cutout vinyl decal here. I put it in front of me. You want to get these from a sign shop or a print shop. We ordered like 100 of them back in the day for all our flight cases back when we had a live sound company. But they're pretty self-explanatory. There's a masking tape layer and a sticky layer, and it should be cut out. You don't want a sticker that has a clear surface over the top. You want a cut vinyl decal. Okay, let's show you how we put it on. <laughs> I like to have it all the way. So I'm going from the top of the clips. That's kind of where I'm setting it. And then I'm going to rip off the excess here. There's probably a bunch of people cringing at how much excess is because of how expensive this tape is. And then just roll it underneath. I'm not super concerned with the backside. And then you just want to tidy it up and fold everything in. So there you can see we have our gaff tape layer down. Next. We have our vinyl decal. You want to be careful when you pull the backing off, separate it. You want the vinyl decals to stay with the masking tape. These decals are three or four years old, but since we're in a warm, dry environment, I don't expect there to be too many problems with it. Usually if you get a bunch of these decals made, you want to use them within a first year or so because they do dry out. Next, you can kind of line it up. There's a couple different ways that you can go about it. You can put down masking tape first to get a nice straight line, or if you're reckless like I am, I just kind of eyeball it and put it down. You can use the bottom of the letters as a guide relative to the bottom of the stand. There is room for a little bit of intolerance. I don't think anybody's gonna judge you too bad if you're off by a couple millimeters or something, but something like that I think will work pretty well. You wanna kind of heat it up with your hand and warm it up there. Get that glue to seal to the gaff tape. And then you can pull this masking tape layer off. You want to be careful as you're going. This is the part that you really want to take your time with. Make sure that everything separates nicely. Right there is the type of thing that you want to look out for. Just make sure that you get a clean separation from the masking tape to the vinyl decal. Custom vinyl decals aren't cheap. Something like this will probably cost you 10 bucks. So you really don't want to be redoing this too many times. You want to get it right the first time and it just takes an extra minute to get a nice clean application. It is forgiving if it starts to peel up. You can just bend it back like I did with the letter A there. You can see here it actually looks pretty good lining up on the bottom of the stand. For your personal preference you might want it a little higher something like that. It just really depends what you want and how big your logo is. 
I think something like that looks pretty good. I did just realize that I missed the dot of the eye there, so I'll find that. If this worked for you, please take a photo of it and tag us on social media. We would love to see what you came up with and how your logo looks on this boom arm. If you do something completely different than us, again, just tag us on social media. We would love to see how you decided to cover up the road logo on your PSA OnePlus boom arm. If you want to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.